Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to Beauty and the Stamper. I am doing the monthly global blog hop and there are so many others that you'll have to check out. We are doing simple stamping this month. So every first Wednesday of the month, you will find a new video from us. So I will put the other people down below in the description, click on their links, go check them out. There are brilliant demonstrators from all over the world, and especially if you are a brand new stamper, this is where you wanna be because we are starting simple. I'm gonna do something simple, but just maybe a little bit wouldn't be considered simple, but it's one piece of paper, two stamp sets, two colors of ink, and we are good. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna use the Amazing Silhouettes Cling Set Stamp. And I'm gonna use this tree right here. We're also gonna be using the Peaceful Moments Stamp Set. And I chose Thank You for this one. You could use so many on here, all of them really. So this is a great stamp set to have. Just these two together, if you are new and need to get some stamps, um, I would suggest these two together and you can make cards for so many occasions. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got my thank you. We'll set that to the side. I've got my beautiful tree with a attached. <laughs> That's not simple. That is a dimensional. Uh, but I've got my tree and those are already set up on the blocks. And then I have literally a piece of white cardstock, basic, thick, cut right down in half. You can cut it either way, but what you're gonna remember is a standard card is cut in half and scored in half. If you can cut it either way, but you're gonna cut it and score it. So that is what we've done. And I'm gonna go ahead and burnish this down. You do not have to have all these fancy tools if you're just starting out, but the bone folder does help. Now, if you do not have a demonstrator already and you are in the US, I invite you to visit my site, jeanpersani.stampinup.net and purchase anything you'd like to um, that you've seen here. And then one other thing that you might not have, this is a dauber. Those are available as well. I'll be using a dauber, but I'll tell you what, you could be using just a piece of um, sponge if you'd like. So, Let's go ahead, get started. We've got our uh, base here, and I'm gonna move this out of the way for the time being, because we're gonna focus on some inks. So I chose two color inks. You could, if we wanted to do real simple stamping, just use one color. You do not need to use two. But I thought you might like a little bit of um, quick and easy, yet still simple. So if you were doing this all on your own, you would take your ink, ink the whole thing up and then you're good. But I thought, why not do a little bit more? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna go like this on half of it, right? So we've got that half done. I'm gonna put this guy away, well, for the time being. <laughs> and then we're gonna take the Calypso Coral. And I probably could have done that first because that is the lighter color, but I'm able to see here, and I'm just gonna go a little bit higher each time, and then I'm gonna leave a little center mark there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our dauber or our sponge, and we're gonna marry those two together. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that Calypso Coral on here and start marrying those together. And that's it. So here we go. Let's get out that base. Put that down and then we're just gonna hold this right over. We're gonna put that right down. We're just gonna let it sit there. You don't have to push too hard, but I'm just gonna let it sit there, marinate for a minute, get all that ink transferred over. And then I'm gonna pull it up and look at that. See how pretty that is? 
Now we're gonna take our thank you and we've got our Calypso Coral down here, our Melon Mambo up here, and I, I wanna kind of um, bring the two together. So we are gonna go with the Melon Mambo, get our thank you here, and we're gonna line that up and put our thank you right down there. And that, you guys, is our card. Is that super cute, super easy, and super simple? So let me show you. I've done that, but if you wanted to step it up a little, I know everybody has trouble. If you've been doing um, stamping for a while, you may want to set uh, step it up. So this is my simple, and then this one is the same thing, but it is stepped up just a bit. I've got my white card base, and then I have a piece of Bermuda Bay cut just a little bit smaller than my base, and then I have another white cardstock cut just a little bit smaller than the Bermuda Bay. I used three colors. Do you wanna know how I did that? Same exact way, except I left a wider mark here. So it wasn't, um, I did the, the Night of Na uh, Pacific Point up here, and then I did a Bermuda Bay here, and I did a Granny Apple Green or a Pear Pizzazz down here. But I still added that Bermuda Bay with a dauber. So I just left more space there. And then I put this one, it says, hope you have the best birthday. And then I added three little rhinestones down here that matched really well. So here you go. If you're just starting out, beautiful card. They're just both as beautiful as the next. What do you think? If you like this, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you visit the other vloggers because I am sure they're going to have some great simple stamping tips and techniques as well. All right, beauties, I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you next month for the Global Monthly uh, Hoppers installation, installment, is that what it is? <laughs> you know me, I fly by the seat of my pants. This one went fairly well, so I have to goof up somehow in the end. All right, have a wonderful day again, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.